Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm using ChatGPT at the moment to write some very personalized cold email. And based on my experience, not even 1% of the people inside the cold email industry is doing right now. So this is very beginner friendly. It's not going to cost you anything and you can implement this at the right end of this video. So if you send some cold email in the past, you know that the best cold email are actually the one you do manually. You actually research to someone and you go through his problems, you look through his LinkedIn and you basically like you realize, oh, this guy could actually uh, be a good fit for my company. I'm going to send him an email based on some information you see, you've seen. And basically, this is a, a good way to do it. You're going to get many meetings, but it's going to take you a lot of time. It's very time consuming. So the thing is now with ChatGPT, you can actually automate all of this uh, process to make some very personalized cold email, but do it at a scale. So without further ado, let me show you my screen and show you how it's done. So let's get the party going. The first thing you want to do is download GPT for Sheets. This is going to be the way we're going to use all of this to make some personalized cold email at scale. So it's a free extension. Just going to put that here. Give me a second. So it's a free extension. Basically, simply go on Google GPT for Sheets extension. You uh, download it. It's completely free. And uh, I've done this already. But basically, you're going to be invited to inv uh, install this. Now, the second thing you want to do is simply you want to activate the GPT uh, extension. You're going to see like it is honestly, it's uh, really uh, simple. So basically, you're going to arrive into your Google Sheets. And then it's going to tell you to go into extension and you will be here and basically you'll need to activate it. So you simply go open. And basically this little pop up is going to happen in the in the right side. And basically it's simply going to tell you, um, do you want to go for a pricing plan, etc. You can do this 100% for free at the beginning. I think they give you a certain amount of credits. I, I invite you to as soon as you understand the value of this to get a paying plan because you're going to be able to do this much more at scale. I'm going to talk about pricing in a second. First of all, simply download this and um, put it uh, all up. If you've got a ChatGPT uh, 4, uh, this means you've got the API, you can plug it in there. Otherwise, you can still use this without the GPT uh, API. So, uh, so far, uh, pretty simple. Now, what you want to do is basically, when you do a cold email, like uh, the, the most, most of you guys probably I have a CSV, like a Google Sheets, with all of your leads uh, information. If you're using any tool like uh, Apollo, like SalesNav, like Drop Contact, any of those, you'll always get like a CSV with all of these uh, variables. And these are the variables we're going to use to make some really uh, cool cold email. So basically, you see in this one, I've got first name, last name, email, company name, uh, phone, website, job title, uh, company town, his address, his, uh, his uh, industry. Basically, the more you have, the more uh, we will have to create some um, some different type of uh, virus, some uh, personal personalization. The 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 one I recommend uh, the most to get started is at least a company name. If you get the town, it's pretty cool, and the website. Like these are the big ones that you want to use. Then if you got the job title, etc., it'll be even better. So without further ado, now let's get into actually what's being done. So basically, you see, I've got all the website here. And I'm using, it's basically, it's a, you're using ChatGPT, but you're putting it inside a cell and it's like a, it's like a smart Google sheet. It's basically a bit like clay, but it's uh, way less expensive and it does this, the same thing even, or, or probably better. So basically you're asking ChatGPT, basically it's always the, you're going to see the structure of this is always one prompt. And then one prompt is actually uh, related to uh, one cell inside the Google sheet. So here I'm putting a prompt and I'm relating it to the company website. And I can do this for each uh, cell. It's automatic. So identify the primary B2B target audience from this company. Simply answer using the structure with company. Here's an example with company looking for CRM. So the thing I'm trying to do with this cold email is I'm going to give you an example. In my case, I run a lead generation agency. So basically I'm trying to find out who are my targets, uh, who, like for my target, what, what type of companies are trying to get in contact with. And then I'm going to leverage this during my cold email to show them that I actually like done some research. So sh showing you an example, if first name, we can get you five to 10, 10 qualified meetings uh, with company ICP guaranteed or you don't pay interested. So let's take the example of Salesforce. You all know Salesforce is here. Hey, hey uh, someone working at Salesforce, we can get you five to 10 calls with company looking for CRM solution because people at Salesforce, their client is people looking for CRM solution. McKinsey, McKinsey, 
Hello, first name. We can get you in touch with companies seeking management consulting services. Smart lead, we can get you in contact with companies seeking AI and lead generation solution. Nobody else is sending this at the moment on the market. Like this is like at least like 99% of people aren't doing this. This is super, super like uh, specified. It's, it, it, it can only be like a easier manual or someone who knows like using how to use a chat GPT. Like it sounds, it sounds very, very uh, like a uh, manual crafted and uh, personalized. And I can show you like this is automatic. Like you've got your list of lead. It's so quick. You put one prompt and then you can simply like slide it through like any any Excel, you put it one there, F2, you see F2 is this cell, then it's gonna be F3, F4, and this is simply using the, the Google Sheets like uh, nature features. So like this is super powerful. Now you understand this, you can, I'm gonna show you loads of example you can play with, which are pretty cool. So this is for the target ICP, like it makes it feel like really, uh, really uh, personalized. And like I'm using personalization like I see a lot of people using personalization simply to personalize, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, hey, notice you're 33 years old. Would you like this new CRM? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Here, I'm using personalization in a way that is helping uh, my offer and it, make it, it makes my offer stand out. It makes my company stand out because this is the type of inf information I would usually uh, like look for manually. Another one, which is pretty cool, is basically inside my CSV, I've got uh, the people's... Um, company, uh, the, the town where they live. So Paris, Neuilly, this is a, a French, uh, for French company, but this would work with any, uh, any companies. And the thing I did, the second one is, um, just going to show you right now is find the best restaurant in this town and simply answer back like Brasserie uh, Fouquet. I give them an example for Paris. And the thing is, Hey, first name, we can get you five to 10 qualified meetings with a company looking for CRM solution. If we don't succeed, I'll personally fly out to company location. So I'm using this, the cell uh, right there, the Paris, etc. And I'll buy you a, uh, I'll buy you a dinner at city best restaurant. So I'll buy you a dinner at uh, Le Jules Verne, which is a big restaurant in France at Dabou, which is must be a big restaurant in, uh, in, let me check. I haven't even checked this in Los, An Los Angeles. Uh, is that right? No, sorry. Let me check. Tabu. I didn't put the. So it's eight. Let's let's check eight row eight in London. Tabu, London restaurant. No, oh, okay. This one is closed. So you've got to check. It's probably okay. Bad, bad, bad example. But you see, like it's already a. Uh, it's a really good one. I would say, honestly, in 99% of the case, it will work uh, pretty good. Uh, Providence, I think this was uh, LA. If we check um, Los Angeles, Providence, Los, An Los Angeles. Uh, for, yeah, like these are the best restaurants, like 100 plus, basically like really fancy uh, restaurants. So this is like this only, uh, this can only be done like manually or at a high level of personalization that no one else is doing. Imagine receiving, di receiving this in your inbox, like you're, you live in a town and someone is saying you, I'll buy you a dinner at your town. Like how personalized is this? You, you can barely get any better than uh, this. Now, other example, this is find the most recent news about this company and start like, I noticed you recently, um, no, you recently and uh, keep it short. So. Here is what I'm trying to do. Example. Hey, first name, notice your recently latest uh, news. We'd love to help you leverage this uh, with uh, companies, ICP. So I'm using the same thing. So here is uh, how it looks like. So for Netflix, I noticed you recently announced a new feature, a new feature called play some things that will automatically suggest and play content uh, based on your users viewing history. We would love you to help you leverage this with uh, companies looking for as uh, um, a pay on a play on demand um, video software, whatever. So it, it, this is again, like a really a cool way to, to actually pretend like you, you, it was very spontaneous and you've seen some latest news about the company and then you can leverage this to make some cold email. A last news, a last example I'm going to give you, then you can simply use your own imagination to craft all sorts of uh, cold email, basically with a uh, Zapier. Basically, the thing is find out competitors. So identify one uh, competitor uh, for this company. Give the answer like this. 
we're talking with one of your competitors, Apple. So here first name, we can get you better clients than Apple using cold email. We've done this with client one and two already. Are you interested? Zapier, we're talking with one of your competitors, Integromat. So Integromat is what is uh, make uh, today. And this, this is again, it makes it very uh, personalized. And you see, basically, if I take this and like, let's say I come, I delete it just to show you like, oh, sorry, all right. It's going to delete this, so no sale. Put it back, it's going to load. Cut this. We're talking with one of your competitor, EFTTT, basically, which is another competitor. So this is this is live and this will work like uh, for as many prospects as uh, you want. You can simply like take this and drag it down, down. Now, in terms of pricing, like I said, I'll talk about pricing. Honestly, it's super cheap. I took uh, basically the $30 uh, plan because this is the, sorry, because this is the first one so if i just show you quickly open it cost me about 29 dollars and basically i've done this for there is 1500 prospects in this file i've done this yesterday for like all of this file using one uh i used basically the the first one and it cost me uh it cost me um uh 29 dollars and i have 26 for so three dollar for only 1500 prospect which is nothing but I use my own ChatGPT API and I think this cost me about $5. So I, honestly, like it's probably $8, like um, the, the, if we addition it, uh, if we if we add up those uh, two costs. And for me, $8 for having like this level of personalization for 1,500 prospects is literally uh, nothing. Like the ROI is uh, so big. So that's the end of this video. Uh, I'm not going to give you like more example, just use your own imagination. There's so much uh, stuff you can do with this. Like honestly, sky is the limit. Hopefully you got some uh, great value and uh, see you in the next video to give you more tips on cold email.